Hello and welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You can probably tell I am so, so excited to share this with you. I'm going to try and contain myself so I don't just chat loads of waffle. I can actually share what I want to share. However, some of this might still be waffle. Now, firstly, if you like cool bikes, triathlon, time trialing, running, cycling, swimming, food, water, any of that, that captures everybody, doesn't it? Click the subscribe button down below. I very much appreciate it. And secondly, I've probably given the vast majority of this away in the thumbnail and the title, but for those who aren't aware, I'll give you a little recap. So for the last five years, I've ridden a Planet X Exocet 2 time trial bike. Uh, just before Christmas, I decided that the time was now to upgrade, so I bought myself a, a Felt IA1. Now, I liked it. It looked smart. It was a good spec. It was a good price. I bought it secondhand. However, I didn't absolutely love it, and I think you have to really absolutely love the bike you ride and race. And I'd also had my previous bike like custom resprayed, so I had that on my mind. So I put it out to you guys to welcome any thoughts about what you think I should do. And obviously a lot of you gave me your, your, your comments and thoughts. And that led to me having my bike resprayed. Now looking at the old, or is old now color scheme, it was like a dark gray and a uh, exposed carbon. And it did look really smart. So the gray was a nice metallic gray. The exposed carbon looked excellent uh, close up. You could see the, all the layers and stuff. It looked great. However, on photos, the exposed carbon just looked black and the gray, it just looked gray. It didn't stand out to me and shout, yes, this is your race bike. I wanted something that stood out, something that gave me the wow factor that, oh my God, that is mine, that sort of thing. And it was going to be some shade of blue at all times. However, I eventually decided on candy blue. Now, candy blue is quite a bright blue. Uh, it's metallic. It really pops in the sun. It really stands out. It's a fair bit brighter than any other bikes I've painted in the past. But that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be leery. I wanted, if anything, some people to not like it and some people to like it because I like it and it's my bike. So that was what colour I went for. Now, the lettering is not stickers. It is painted as well. So the black felt on the frame, the felt on the, the back of the seat tube, the felt underneath the down tube is all painted. I'd initially thought to go silver. However, the painter advised me not to do that. It didn't look as good as I thought it would do. We went for black, but it's got a really nice like metallic flake in it, like a rainbow flake. So when the sun catches it in the black lettering, it just looks great. Again, it's really hard to capture on a photo or a video. Hopefully some of these clips to kind of show it, but um, in the sun, it looks absolutely wicked. And that is it for the colour. That's what I settled on. I'm really happy I did. I wanted to uh, think about, you know, how I can make it my own and make it stand out, and, and that's what I settled on. Now, I also thought about how, how could I really go the next step. So I also had my helmet sprayed the same colour. Now, again, some people, feel free, feel free to let me know down below. Some people might think that's a bit too much. That's a bit too in your face. However, when you're at a time trial or a race, uh, when Liz or whoever goes supporting is trying to spot you, if you're wearing the same kit as everybody else, white or black or whatever, you're not easy to spot. So I thought a bright blue helmet makes me easy to spot from a distance and I just love the colour, so why not? Now the lettering on the helmet is not exactly the same as the bike. Initially it was going to be, however, um, the gentleman who painted it for me you know, said that the black stands out far too much. It looks a bit in your face and he's right, it would do. So it's actually just like a little bit of a darker blue on the, on the helmet. Gyro at the minute don't pay me to have their brand on, so I wasn't too fussed about having it too bright and in your face, and I think it really, really works well. I've just got to not drop it in transition now. Now, the bike is far from finished in terms of spec. Uh, in a, I'm going to go into this in a separate video, but in a nutshell, I'm going to change the chain set. Uh, I'm going to swap the wheels for something that is tubeless compatible. I'm going to get my NRG chain uh, wax chain fitted. Uh, I might change the the extensions for something more aero. A lot of things to get to do. So if anybody's got any suggestions, please do let me know down below. But it's not ready for me to do like a, and this is my TT bike spec talk. I start off by getting a fit on it so I know it fits. Getting it painted so I know I like the look of it. And then I'll figure the rest out in the next few weeks. So whenever I talk about my old bike that was custom painted and my Canyon road bike that I've painted, the common questions I get are, where did you get it done? How much did it cost? So I'm going to try and address those in this video. So um, a gentleman called John at JNR Bodyworks, I'll leave his links either on screen or down below now, uh, painted it for me. And he has done my Canyon road bike and now this Felt TT bike. Uh, he's a cyclist himself as well as running a car body shop. So he knows what he's doing painted and he also understands like aesthetically what looks good on a bike. So I had absolutely no, no doubts in putting my trust in him to, you know, to paint the bike accordingly. I'm so, so happy that he did. Um, in terms of cost, I'm not going to tell you how much it costs, not because it was uh, ridiculously cheap or you know, horrendous expensive, but just because I don't think it's fair to set that expectation to potential customers before they've spoken to John. So what I will say is I'll give you a guideline. Um, any bike will, will be a different amount because of the, the work involved. For example, my felt had like five different attachment thing, you know, like a, a brake cover, the, the front fork cover, all these little things that need doing as well as the frame. Uh, so it's not always a straightforward. Different paint is different costs, etc. Different materials, whether it's carbon or steel or aluminium, different processes involved. I don't understand it, but so I'm told that's what happens. So 
Um, if you are interested, please do feel free to reach out to him. Please don't waste his time just by saying, oh, how much is this, how much is that, how much is that? He has got a job to do, he does have quite a busy life. So if you're genuinely interested in getting your bike painted, then please do reach out to him, but don't waste his time. In terms of cost, I'd probably say, estimate between 250 and 500 pounds as a, as a broad range. And even if you're not interested in getting your bike painted, I'll leave John's Instagram on screen now. It's well worth a follow because he's always painted some fancy bikes. So it's good just to, just to keep an eye out. So that is it. That's my bike. Feel free to rate or slate, as I've said, but I'm super, super happy with that. I keep looking at it now out of the corner of my eye because I'm just like, mm, yes, I want to ride it. Haven't actually ridden it on the road yet, so looking forward to doing so. Obviously, don't want to do it while it's uh, you know terrible road conditions at the minute. I'm really forward to getting it, getting it raced. So let me know down below. Have you had a bike painted? Has this video made you think about getting a bike painted? Uh, in my opinion, I will always have, where possible, a bike painted. I think if I had a brand new bike and it was under warranty, then I might think twice about it because it would void any warranty you've got. However, I just like making it my own and not having something that is exactly the same as everybody else's. Doesn't mean it's any better. It's just different and it's just mine. And if I mean, on the off chance things get stolen, you're probably a little bit more likely to find it because it's, it's, it's one off, isn't it? So um, yeah, so that is it. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm for a normal daily training vlog, but I'm looking forward to getting this out and some races this year. So see you out on the race course.